Right, so I know this looks a mess, and on the video it just, from here, looks like a black blob, but this is my next project. So, when I met Dan on uh, Thursday, he would bought a couple of toys along, he doesn't get a chance to paint often, so I said to him, well if there's anything you want painted, I mean, I'm kind of on a model ban at the moment, I'm not allowed to buy anymore, um, and I don't, I'm running out of space for storing all the stuff I've got. So what he's done is he's given me some Urukai, which he's had for years and never really got painted. So I'm going to paint these up for him, and we're going to um, hopefully play some scenarios with it. Other scenarios or just some battles where, for a change, I don't have to use uh, my Rohan stuff. So what he's given me here is a selection of bits and pieces. So there's Ugluk, Lurts, and an Urukai captain. Um, an Urukai banner, Vrasku, Sharky, and then the Urukai escaping with Merry and Pippin, which I'm quite looking forward to, those ones. Um, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 Berserkers, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 crossbow Urukai, which I really want to have a go with those in game because I'm, I'm fed up with strength to shoot in. It doesn't kill anything. It seems pointless. Um, then there's also six of the uh, demolition team Urukai. Um, I've got he's got the two bombs here, and then an unnumbered uh, two, four, well, two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, I'll call it twenty odd, twenty something odd Urukai scouts. So, I'm looking forward to painting these. I think by the time I finish, I'm going to get a bit sick of brown. But, to help me through, I've got this Vallejo Black Red and a Mahogany Brown. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Mahogany Brown and Dark Sienna for the skin. Um, probably with a bit of red thrown in as well. Uh, more red thrown in for the Berserkers, just to try and make them look a bit more... Uh, fearsome. Um, as for painting the white hands, I think I might have to do a couple of test figures first. Maybe do a couple of scouts, because um, I've never I've done bloody hands on my zombies, but I've never done like sigils or anything like that. Freehand. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting into these, and hopefully, once I've uh, finished them, or finish some of the scouts at least, we can start having some games where they're all painted up and it'll look It'll look great. So that's my next that's my next project. This should keep me busy for easily a couple of months, depending how much time I get in for painting. But I'm getting excited about this now. It's going to be good. So I'm going to do a video um, blog for this. Um, they might be short and sweet, or I might lump together a few at a time. Um, but I'll try and keep um, track of what I do, and I may even try do some sort of like painting guides they might not be guides as such it might be uh, I've put this on I've put this on I've put that on but either way um, I've also my brother's um, over Christmas he and his uh, future father-in-law and future brother-in-law found out obviously that I do uh, videos on YouTube and uh, after having a little bit of a giggle I think he may have watched them all because he seems to have now gone out and bought 80 odd or 60 odd Minas Tirith warriors, a uh, Mumuk, and some Harad warriors as well. So, uh, welcome to the dark side. You do realise that uh, your fiancé will never forgive you. Or probably forgive me because this is a dark path you're going down. But yeah, so I'll start doing some more videos, hopefully, to uh, keep track of these and let everyone know what's going on. Cheers. Bye for now. Hi everyone, so this is my um, Lord of the Rings update. I've not posted anything for a while, I think it's been about a month since I finished the Fellowship. Um, played the first game with them um, on Thursday night with Dan down at Darksphere, and it was great fun. We played the um, Amon Hen scenarios. Um, we only managed to do the one, so it was the scenario where you've got uh, Frodo and Aragorn, and then Gimli and Legolas arrive randomly. Unfortunately, I mean, 
we ran out of time so I lost because Frodo was still it was about four or five inches and probably about no probably about six inches from the escape zone and then we had to end because we had to go home because it was getting late but it was great fun I mean it's the first time I've used units which are that powerful so Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn they were absolute tanks and Gimli came on and killed three Urukai in the first turn um, Aragorn and Legolas were both killing loads Frodo was the only one who was a bit of a pain in the ass because he kept taking the ring off and putting it back on because I kept losing control of him but that was I suppose that was all part of the fun of it so what I've done is I've um, I finished these off I bought these from Josh on the um, over at the EAHC and I've finished them off I, mean, I did struggle a bit with them because there's only so much you can do with black and they look I mean in the light here you can't really tell but they do look quite grey what I've tried to do is try to add a bit of a bit of dirt to the cloaks to try and highlight the bottom without having to go too light um, I am really happy with them I do really like them but the poses are amazing so I've got four here I need the other um, other five I've also got the Witch King um, to do from the Final Fate of the Witch King box so if I ever need to have more than a couple of wraiths then at least I've got them as for the basing, I've, I've just gone for brown, dry brush, and then tufts. I didn't want to make it match any potential Isengard or Mordor force I might do, because this mounted ring wraiths you really only see in the Shire and uh, Weathertop and things like that. So these will do for now. I mean, hopefully I can get hold of some more sort of like dead grass tufts and maybe replace them. But I like that look, like how they look. See if I can get a little bit closer, get a bit of a better. Yeah, oh, there you go. So they're all really nice. The other thing I've been working on, let's move these out of the way, it is of course this. Still working on it, I should say. Can't take him off that, he's glued down too well. With Pelinor. This is probably about 70% done. The horse is pretty much done. It's quite bright there. Focus down here. Yeah. So the horse is about done. Um, the horse's armor is done. His armor probably is going to. Probably done. Need to do his hair a bit more. Going to lighten that because. It looks really light here, but it's actually quite dark still. I've still got to do his cloak, and then I've got to do the base. The cloak I've been putting off because, of course, it's it's probably the most defining part of the whole model because it's probably about sort of like 40 50% of the back. So I've got to get some work done on that. I've done eyes for the first time, and I am, I am quite happy with them. I mean, if you look really close, of course, they look they look shit like eyes normally do when you look really close but yeah I really love this model I shall never disclose how much it cost because I shall probably be killed but yeah so I'm going to cut here and then I'll come back in a minute when I show what I'm going to be working on next <laughs> 